I got sober at 19 years old. I um, I had just turned 20. I was I was so mad. I was like, what am I gonna do when I turn 21? I can I can do anything I want. You know, and my, my good friend who passed away, the last thing he said to me was that he was so excited because he, there were so many things he could do. You know, and he overdosed and died from heroin. I, I, I think life is the greatest adventure. And why would you, you know, now I think about it, I'm like, why would I want to, like, you know, taint it with just drugs and alcohol? You know, I want to I wanna feel it fresh and um, live it clean. <laughs> I made my amends to her when I came to her and I said, Mom, like, I'm really sorry about everything. Like, you know, I said, I, I can't even speak in words how, how sorry I am and how, um, <clears throat> and how much wrong I've done, but I can promise you that I take responsibility for my actions, for my, for my disease, for my alcoholism, for my drug addiction, and I will never put you through that again if I continue working this program, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, and she looked at me and she said, it's okay, Bonnie. She goes, you know, Bonnie, you taught me the most beautiful thing in the entire world. It is so easy to love the healthy. She's like, but it's hard to love the sick. She's like, but what you taught me was that it was easy to love you through the whole thing because I knew there was Bonnie underneath it all. You know, and all the times that she had to check my, my pulse at night, um, you know, I, you know, thinking if I was, had passed in my sleep, like, you know, she said that she was patient and she loved me the whole time and I mean, if it weren't for her, I would not be here.